What is going on, fight fans? So Canelo finished fighting Jaime Munguia. We don't know what the pay-per-view numbers are for this, but I'll be very curious to see um, if they are good pay-per-view numbers, then that transition over from Showtime to Amazon Prime or Amazon, uh, it could be a good thing or could be a non-damaging thing. I want to actually want to go with more with nine damaging because for some reason when pay-per-views would take place on showtime they did pretty well canelo versus caleb plant did like 800 something thousand pay-per-views you know crawford versus spence uh did 700 and something thousand pay-per-view buys so i think it's uh it's going to be very telling this pay-per-view is going to be an important pay-per-view number but because it's not showtime the pay-per-view numbers might not even come out i mean heck we're still waiting for the official numbers from the DAZN pay-per-view with ryan garcia versus devin haney so i'm very curious because again these are important numbers for political you know political advantage because that's what boxing is all about the fighting is a very minimal part of, of the entire sport the po the politics and positioning um in the public eye is the most important thing uh when it comes to the longevity uh of these fighters in terms of their popularity and you know their leverage versus other fighters and their ability to fight other fighters as well so basically it's super important now getting into the fight itself it wasn't anything crazy anything out of the ordinary i mean jaime mungia had an amazing start but the experience of canelo alvarez started to kick in he has really good timing once he reads you it's almost impossible to to hit him if you don't switch it up and jaime mungia was never able to switch up canelo was able to see his punches coming from a mile away he caught all his tells um he got all the reads down packed and he was able to systematically start dismantling jaime mungia and it all started from the knockdown with the uppercut because once he did that uh it, it was a compounding effect of canelo continuously uh learning more about what jaime Munguia likes to do in the ring uh so that he could read him much easier and see the punches coming from a mile away as well as the lack of confidence or the reduction or the reduced confidence of jaime Munguia after he got caught with the uppercut canelo just kind of strolled into a victory at the end there he was putting a lot of pressure he looked like he wanted the knockout but he also did look like he wasn't going to over extend himself and give jaime mungia an opportunity now those scorecards blew my mind i mean there was one scorecard that was 115 um 113 i believe or 115 112 that's essentially just one round from being a draw um i did not see that at all did i see jaime mungia winning the first few rounds the first you know three four rounds uh absolutely uh, but after that i didn't see him really winning any other round especially you, you factor in the knockdown so to me it was par for the course canelo did what he was supposed to do he was canelo in there and he won the fight and he beat an undefeated mexican fighter and jaime mungia who had a lot of wins uh so that's gonna look good although you know his 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 level of competition wasn't crazy um so you know it is what it is for a lot of the casual boxing fans they see a big number like his win loss record and with no losses on on top of that and for canelo to be the first to give him a loss i think that's a you know big deal to a lot of the casual fans but again i think the most important thing coming out of this is to see how much pay, uh pull does canelo currently have now with the transition uh, over to amazon prime as opposed to just being on showtime but the biggest story to me of this entire fight uh is basically canelo's interview at the end he just said he is not going uh to fight benavides i'm sorry that's not what he said that's that's I, i'm sorry that's was what was filtered in my brain no he didn't say that what he said was he doesn't know he has to go back home and talk with his team guys the biggest code word for i don't really want to fight this guy in the space right now in boxing not right now ever is if you're ever asked do you want to fight 
fighter A and you say you have to go back and talk with your team, that is essentially saying no. <laughs> no, but I don't want to say no because if I say no, you know, that's going to just look bad on my part. Again, boxing is politics. It's just like how politicians want you to do something for a different benefit, but they try to sell you that it's because of this thing. The reason we want you to do this is because of that, even though they really want you to do this thing so that they can benefit off of that thing over there. Same thing with boxing. When a boxer tells you, I got to go back with my team. Guys, these are professional managers, teams, you think that they're not thinking about the next steps? You think that they are only strategizing their entire worldview of what this boxer is going to do based off of a fight by fight basis? Like they just go, okay, now let's try to No, they have plans in place. Like they, this is a, these, this is money. When there's a large amount of money involved, there's a lot of preparation uh, put into that 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 financial you know tower, right? So they're they're planning. What happens if Canelo loses? We need Plan B. If Canelo wins, what's where's the next path that we're going? They're they're planning three, four, five fights ahead, and even further than that with potential things that they're gonna do next. But for for a fighter to say I gotta sit back and talk with my team, it just it just it doesn't sit right with me ever when they say this. So I'm hoping that he eventually does fight David Benavidez. I'm hearing rumblings that he's probably going to fight Ed Edgar Ber Berlanga. Do I think Edgar Berlang Berlanga deserves a fight more than a Benavidez who's beaten uh, you know, Caleb Plant? And also beat Boo Boo Andre. Do I believe that, uh, you know, the guy that did that and it's undefeated shouldn't be fighting Canelo before Berlanga, who's fought none of the top guys at all? Absolutely not. But we're probably going to be here in Berlanga. But it also could just be, you know, a political play, right? A political move. This is why you never know with boxing. It could just be posturing to get as much money as possible out of the fight because it's a high risk, but you're going you're gonna to want to have a high reward. It doesn't necessarily mean that Canelo doesn't want to fight him or he's scared to lose to him. He's just probably weighing the risk reward like any business does, right? If you're going to do a, 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 a if you're going to pour money into a, 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 a business, you know, innovative idea, you're going to weigh your risk reward ratio and you know you might do an idea here you know okay I'll, I'll do this idea but it won't cost me too much and I'm, I'm probably gonna make that money back now this idea over here is gonna cost a whole lot of money and I don't know if it's gonna you know return money if it's gonna have a good ROI but yeah, I'm not scared to do it. I would do it. It's just that I don't, you know, I, I'm thinking about what makes the most sense. I could just do three of these and that's going to be, and these are guaranteed. And then one of those for that a little bit amount of money in comparison to all three of these fights. So it, it, it's the politics. It, 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 it's always the politics when it comes to boxing, which is one of the most frustrating things when it comes to boxing because... You never get a straight answer. Anyways, that's my thoughts on the fight. Didn't really care so much about it, to be quite honest. Did watch it, obviously. Uh, kudos to Canelo. But we want to see Canelo versus Benavidez. We want to see Canelo versus Crawford. Uh, more so Benavidez at this point. But uh, if he fights Benavidez somehow and he then beats him then i would love to see a crawford fight but to end his career man well is he gonna keep fighting like what's going on like i don't even understand who <laughs> who's he gonna be fighting he's running out of people if he doesn't fight david benavidez anyways let me know what you guys think i'll probably do a video uh in the future talking about the pay-per-view buys uh, but I have to do my research on the data, the all of the analytics and stuff so that I can come up with a pay-per-view by uh, prediction because a boxing fanatical is always correct when it comes to pay-per-view buys, always. And I have a real strong feeling that I'm correct on my Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney 
pay-per-view buy and that's that's all i'm gonna say anyways if you guys are interested in a boxing video games or anything like that uh there's a video right here looking at a boxing video game that's in the making go ahead and check this out if that's something that you're into until the next one guys peace out